What is up everybody? Hopefully you guys are doing good as always. My name is Itai and today I'm bringing you a game analysis. It contains one of the best queen sacrifices I've ever seen, uh, a lot of tactical opportunities and a lot of teachable moments. So I think that you'll benefit from this video a lot. For more awesome videos like these, make sure you subscribe to Chess Geek. I post strategical videos, game analysis, tactical videos, anything related to chess. Make sure to also comment down future videos you want to see, and now let's get into the Queen's Sacrifice. This was a game played by Rashid Nesmandino versus Olog Chernikov. Rashid starts the game with e4, met with the Sicilian uh, by Olog, and then f3, c6 and now just the normal main line at d4. After the pawns trade in the center, Olog decides to go with this move here, and this signals to white that, you know, black is planning to fianchetto the bishop and target this knight here. But, you know, as, as white, this doesn't pose much of a threat because once this happens, white is happy to develop their own bishop and at the same time protect the knight. So rather than having to undevelop a piece, White can simply protect with developing another piece. So this Fianchetto bishop uh, doesn't pose much of a threat, especially considering that black will eventually have to, if, if black wants to castle kingside, they'll have to close off this, uh, this, this dark square bishop here. Uh, so this doesn't really bother, and you see that that exactly happened. Uh, now both players getting ready uh, to castle kingside. Um, and rather than castling, white decides to push back the, the bishop, and this is a pretty good move by Rashid. Um, castling is completely fine, but this lays out a trap that I actually mentioned in a, in a video a long time ago. Uh, I'll try to link it if I can find it. Um, but basically, if black were to play this move, which looks pretty pleasant, um, targeting this bishop, in fact, it almost seems like you are you know, completely trapping the bishop, uh, with the bishop having no safe squares to move to, um, and obviously trading a knight for the light square bishop this early on to the game is very pleasant for black, um, but it actually doesn't end up working because the problem with this move is that you're faced with this move and now the knight has to undevelop. If the knight were to move to one of these spots, obviously the knight can handle that. Uh, if the knight were here, the, the queen is, is going to capture that. And if the knight moves here, it seems all right. Uh, but the problem is with this move here. Now trying to win um, a very key, you know, piece for black, uh, not only for the protection of the king, but also just a nice diagonal. Um, so threatening to capture that, and obviously you don't really want to capture with the pawn uh, because then the queen can come here and you're inviting a lot of pressure on the king's side. Also breaking up the pawn structure uh, that's protecting the king. So overall, black does not want to invite that much pressure to the king's side. Uh, which is why black will end up undeveloping the knight, probably. Uh, in which case, you go ahead and play this move. It's wonderful. Um, if black were to capture with the, the rook, you obviously win the queen. Uh, both of these by the, the knight. And if the queen tries to go here, obviously the bishop protects that. And obviously, this is a pin, so you'll win the queen. If instead, uh, black captures with the king, which looks okay, um, but it actually doesn't end up working because now you can play this move and again you're winning the queen. If black tries to capture once again with the, the king, then you, you're you just going to mate uh, with a lot of forcing moves uh, and there's nothing that black can do. This is just force mate. Okay, so this is a really nice trap. Um, so be careful of it if you're playing the Sicilian as black. Um, but instead of playing this move here, uh, instead black decides to go ahead um, and stay away from that trap. The idea with knight over here to g4 is that if the queen were to take, you're taking away the queen from defending this piece here, so it's just a trade. And now the queen is sent to h4, you know, hoping to form some attacks with the help of the, the bishop, and Olog decides to take out his, ki or his queen um, because he, he realizes that there's a lot of pieces that are attacking um, for white, but there isn't a lot of pieces uh, for black, so Olog is trying to form some of its own attacks. And now, when you have a king that hasn't been castled, you have to understand when you have to castle. And here is where you have to castle, because if you don't, Olog can take advantage of it and play, uh, if, for example, you play a move like this, Olog can play this move. And if you don't want to look, lose the, the, the rook, you can capture, sure, but it doesn't really help you, because after this trade, you end up losing the rook anyways. So, you want to make sure that if your king is still in the center, 
there is no threats that could ever happen. So it's always safer to castle once you can. Um, and here the game continued uh, with bishop over here, and now uh, Rashid had this awesome queen sacrifice. One idea is moving the queen here, but it doesn't really work because of just repetition. Another exam or another option is to move the, the, the queen here, but this doesn't quite work either because of this wonderful tactical opportunity to win back the queen. Um, and same thing happens if the queen were to move here. Uh, once again, you have the tactical opportunity of sacrificing the queen first and then moving the knight over here uh, and, and winning the queen. So none of the moves seem to work. So Rashid decided to cap or to take the the bishop. Now you need to be absolutely sure that when you sacrifice a, p a piece so big like the queen, that you're getting a lot in return. And so first off, uh, Rashid gets obviously the bishop, and obviously also the knight is hanging. So Rashid will also win that because the bishop was previously protecting the knight. So this is a, a great I you know place to uh, sacrifice the queen. Um, along from the material that you're getting back, um, you're also getting back, for example, let's say Olog just recaptures the queen, you're also getting back a lot of control in the center, right? There's, you know, this nice hanging pawn. Uh, if Once the, 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 knight, the knight goes to d5, it's going to be a very nice piece there that can also, once again, help with this pawn. And there's also this, you know, two diagonals that you can take advantage of. So overall, Rashid has gone you know, quite a lot of compensation for the the sacrificed queen, uh, which is why Olog, instead of just recapturing the queen immediately, realizes that the knight will eventually fall, um, so decides to play this intermediate move, which is a wonderful move. Um, obviously, the king is hanging, so the king, or the king is in check, not hanging, uh, so there has to be a response, and so once the, the knight takes, the only difference that happened is that now the knight has to play two moves to get to d5. So Olog just won uh, an extra move. So that, that was a wonderful idea to move the knight back here. Uh, and now, um, once again, Rashid has to spend that extra move to get the knight over to d5. And you might think that now uh, d5 was a blunder because you're blundering the pawn, but that's not quite the case. Because if uh, Olog were to take the pawn, uh, there's this very nice tactical opportunity to win back the rook, right? So you need to make sure not to fall for this trap, and so Olog decided instead to play this move. And now, it was just really a fight for getting more pieces out there. You can see that this uh, rook lift happened uh, where Olo or Rashid is just trying to control this square as much as possible. And you just want to try to start controlling as many squares as you can. And here, a couple of nice moves happened. Uh, when you're under attack, so here obviously you're under attack, this, this rook is hanging, there's a couple of options. One of them is to just move the rook. But another good option is to counterattack, and that's what Rashid did really well here. First Rashid played this move, forcing the king back, or the queen back, and then once again, instead of moving the rook, Rashid counterattacked once again and played this move here, now threatening to capture this piece. Uh, if the, the, the bishop were to take the, the rook. So you can see that Rashid did a couple of nice counter moves um, rather than just responding to this threat. Um, this move over here to e2 was played with the bishop, and now uh, the, the knight decides to play this move um, to obviously have this discovered check. The idea with this move is that if the king were to take the knight, then the king would have to move here, and then you lose this... this uh, this rook, and with the I, with the help of the two paired uh, bishops and the rook, there could be a lot of attacks on this king. So this would be pretty bad. Uh, so instead, the the king obviously has to make a move like this, and this isn't much better because now uh, after this move, you're just continuously pushing pressure on Olog, and that's essentially what happened. You can see that after a lot of pressure, Olog just breaks because there really isn't anything else to do. Now, this was move was here, and this is a very interesting idea. The idea is if trading, then you're taking away a huge threat um, and just a piece that has traumatized Olog throughout the whole game. So you're you're yes, you're losing a little bit of material, but you're you're taking away a very valuable piece. So this would have been you know quite nice 
if uh, Rashid decided to trade, but rather Rashid played this move, now trying to kick the, the rook away um, and still keep this bishop. And here, uh, the, the trade of the rooks happened that was just waiting to happen for so, so long. Um, and now this move. Now, I think in this position, you could take the rook uh, because maybe even though you lose this, maybe eventually you'll still have you know enough pieces attacking. But instead, you just the Rishi just, just decided to uh, continuous, continue to protect the, the bishop. And now the knight had to come away to allow the, the rook to eventually... Um, start attacking, so the knight was moved back, um, and this is where the attacks began. It started with this move, and now there's just a very, very beautiful move, which is rook over here. The idea is if it takes, obviously, once more a tactical opportunity. In fact, this is a very nice triple uh, fork, but obviously you're just going to win the queen, and obviously you'll also win the queen with this, with this variation. So this is just a very strong move from Rashid, winning the queen no matter what. Um, and once the queen was won, there really isn't a lot more um, to do because although, yes, you can win this pawn, you're down material. There's four pawns for five, six actual, actual pawns, um, and obviously also two minor pieces for a major piece, so it's just not worth it. And that's exactly what happened. Although, yes, you win this extra pawn because of this, uh, this, this fork that happened, after this check, uh, Olog decided to resign. And although it is a little early to resign, there still are some opportunities that you can do. And so maybe Olog was being generous by resigning here. Um, overall, just Rashid is in a winning position, um, or at least has the advantage with the material and just positional. You can see uh, another pawn is hanging. Um, so it's just not going to end that well for Olog, most likely. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, there was so much to learn from it, so hopefully you found it useful. If you're listening to this right now, go to the comment section and comment down the word spaghetti. I just am interested about, you know, who watches the whole video. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you're new, and I'm going to see you all next time.